fly fishing is like a prayer in motion. The places you're at bring out a wild piece of the world that when you connect with it can just really be magical. This is a unique place. The Goat Mountain Trail offers some of the most spectacular views into the St. Helens Crater. There's a horse camp here and there is hunting. Right now it's grouse season and later it will be elk season. These coastal streams are home to 14 pound, 16 pound steelhead. The one thing it takes for them to survive is real clear fresh water flowing over healthy spawning habitats. That's what the green provides. The Green River runs into the Toodle River, which runs into the Cowlitz River. I drink the water from the Cowlitz River, and I do not want to have acid mine drainage in my drinking water. The watershed as a whole would all be compromised if there were mine exploration or development here. The last company that proposed a mine here said that for this to be economically viable, that they would have a 4,000 to 6,000 acre pit mine. Half of the mountain would be gone. million cubic meters of wastewater poured into local waterways when the earthen dam surrounding a tailings pond collapsed. A wave of small earthquakes shaking Mount St. Helens in recent days and experts say more than 100 quakes have actually occurred underneath the Washington State volcano over the last several weeks. And each one of those little earthquakes would be working at destabilizing a tailings pond. And of course, the pit mine itself. A mine disaster in this environment would be horrific. These lands were purchased by the Forest Service with money from the Land and Water Conservation Fund, a fund designed for conservation and recreation. A mine would completely destroy those values. Once a company has proven commercial viability through exploration, the current mining laws make it very difficult to prevent mine development. Right now is the best time to get engaged because this is the best chance we have to stop them.